Hello everyone, I'm Serum Belize and welcome back to another episode from my Roman campaign. Now before we do anything else, I need to change something out. Now, let's go over here to Legion 10. Ready First off, we need to change the name of the said Legion. We shall change it, oh, hold on, just like that, to Equestris. Very good, now we need to go ahead and replace a leader over here in Rome, in Roma, and then we'll transfer him over there. And who, who would that fellow be? Well, good old Gaius Julius Caesar, or Gaius Caesar Julius. All right. Let us go ahead and replace this over here with Mr. Spurius Marcius Marina. Now, yeah, you shall lead that legion, buddy. There we go. And the next turn, we'll transfer him over here, and then he'll be ready to go fight. Now, I will go ahead and kind of change up the legion a little bit. I also did edit my game to where it's now two turns per year. That way, we could let him live for a longer period of time, and we could watch him do a lot more instead of just kind of being here and then dying in a few turns. So, we're going to see what Mr. Caesar can do. Alright, let's go back down here. I declared war on the Galatians, which means that I do not want to fight over here. There's no way. I want to break my siege, but apparently I can't. Uh-oh, that should be interesting. Now, if I go fight him over here, I'll have to fight quite a few foes of mine. Not only the Galatians, but also the Trivaldi. That is going to be interesting. Well, that's a lot of noble horses, too. I don't want to fight that many noble horses. But are they in an encampment? They are. Good. I shall see all of you on the battlefield, and here we go. Alright, here we go. Also, we'll be talking about Tiberius Caracas very soon, but for now, I have a battle to fight. They have an encampment. I do have woods that I could utilize, and they do have a lot of cavalry. However, they are within this encampment. Now, I'm not sure which way my foes will be coming from, and that makes me very sad. Let's see, create an archers. Those are really cool. I think I'll have my fellows move in from one direction, from over here, instead, and just have them advance through the woods. And that should be de delightful. Okay. Ballistas, I'm going to have you over here, and of course my scorpions, well, they'll be maybe <laughs> down here. I can always have them move. And then everyone else, let's get all of you together, and I also have my Cretan archers who I cannot wait to use. They should be quite deadly, at least I hope so. Alright, triplex over here, start battle. Alright, Ballistas, don't fire yet. I want to find out where they're all at. I want to take out their noble horses. Those guys are probably very deadly. So let's hit them right now. Now, which way will their friends be coming from? I really have no clue. And I... Oh, okay. Now, will they come to fight me, or will they go to the encampment? If they go to the encampment, that'll be hilarious and very cramped. Not very proficient for a widespread battle. I'll have to deal with a lot of them. Alright, let's get ready. Well, I might have to go fight them first. I have no clue, though. I'm going to fight a lot of battles now. You saw me slow down in my campaign just a little bit. I got, com I got complacent with the size of my empire, but now... You're going to watch me kick it into high gear. I'm going to do some crazy stuff. Alright, I'm going to hit these noble horses all, all over though. All over. Come on. Don't miss. Might need to pull them up. Yeah, we'll pull them up. Right over here. Scorpions, you too. Wait, they cannot move? I thought they could move. Well, shoot. That's a shame. Okay, let's get my legion over here. Again, I'm pretty sure they'll be heading into the encampment. I wish they would not, but it looks like they probably will be. I'm going to fast forward then, so that we can go ahead and just let my men nail their encampment so hard. Alright, cavalry, get over to those woods. If I could let them all get together, oh boy, that would be interesting though. Only because, well, they'll all be crammed together. Yeah, I might just wait to fire then. I hope, I really wish they would come fight me out on the field, but I really doubt that. That would be the right thing to do is if they just both charged out and came to fight me, but I know because it's an encampment fight that will not happen. Ah, uh, well. Alright, so Tiberius Gracchus. We'll also talk about his younger brother, Gaius Gracchus, later. But Rome was faced with many problems during this time period. First off, trade and manufacturing was largely managed by Greeks and other non-Romans. And then you had what was called the Latifundia, which was huge estates that were worked by slaves and owned by mostly senatorial families. Which is quite the issue. If you re if you remember how it used to be, it used to be to where a lot of the poor owned farms, and so they were el eligible for the census and they were eligible to serve in the legions. But at this point, well, large amounts of these lands were worked by slaves, and so there were no jobs for these poor, and so they would go to these cities and they wouldn't be eligible for the legions. Oh boy, I'm not happy about all their friends coming in here, but can't help that right now, can I? No. I'll have to deal with it. I'm Iberian Cavalry. I'll probably have you move <laughs> instead over here. That's a lot of people to kill. Oh, well. 
Now my scorpions probably cannot reach, most likely. Right? No, they cannot. No. Uh, how shameful. Alright, are they gonna make room or will they just wait out there? I guess they're gonna make room. Alright, but let's, let's fire back here now. And hit as many as we can. Galatian swords all over. Ooh. That's gonna be really nasty. Boom! And that is a start. So let's begin to kill them. We have to take out all of our enemies quickly and effectively in every battle that we can. Let's see. Where are they all at? I have no clue. I, well, I mean, I know where they're all at, but I just, I just meant, are all their men now seen by me or what? I have no clue. Uh, okay, so there's a great deal over here. And this Galatian Swords would be nasty. I want to take out their noble horses and their leaders so that they may break quickly too. Yeah, let's just kind of hit them all over. Just like that. Alright. Now how will I handle this fight? I really need to knock down portions of their wall so that we can just get in there start beating them in the face. So I guess I'll have to do that too. Let's fast forward then real quick. I'll let that work out. I need to open up this area for me to actually get in there and fight them. Come on, Ballista. Can you not hit here? You should be able to hit there. There we go, okay. They're able to hit here. So we'll break this down, hopefully quickly. Come on. Quickly now. One more to go. Boom. Right? Boom! There we go. Okay, let's break down that one. I should have focused on that to begin with, to be honest. I mean, I can win, but... Yee, that is a lot of people to fight. Alright. Let's keep on nailing this area. Well, that one's not too bad. I, I just need to open up these a little bit more. Alright, well, let's keep on firing now. And so what you had next is that the army had manpower problems due to fewer people being eligible for the census requirements. And you had constant slave rebellions. One happened in 135 to 131 in Sicily, which disrupted their grain supply, which clearly is a huge issue. And then economic issues had arisen from less plunder being from the many conquests that had kind of slowed down at this point. And so there weren't as many public works, and because of that, there were less jobs too. And the equestrians were in control of most of Rome's financial capital, which clearly was it was an issue too. All right, let's fire over here next. Oh my gosh, that is a lot of men. Oh, this is going to be the biggest grind. Oh dear, and his towers are going to kill a lot too. My archers, I hope they can just destroy these people. All right, I wonder if they can begin to fire now. That would be nice. What's their range like? Oh, it's pretty fast. Okay. Let's bring them over here real quick. We're going to keep firing at these walls and try to open it up a little bit more. Oh, boy. You're going to see a slaughter here. It's going to be amazing once we're actually in there. I'm going to have a lot of men go fight, and then I need to charge out their flank with my cavalry, who are now advancing over here. Now yeah, we did kill quite a few men. Just never enough. Never enough. Did we knock down that wall yet? Oh, no. We, no, we didn't. Okay. And anything that will shoot overhead will certainly kill a few men. Good. <laughs> Just like that, yeah. Okay, we could focus the fight here if I wanted to. They won't be able to use their numbers no matter what. Now, what do I want to focus on? I want to try to kill some more of their men. Their noble horses, that's an option. There's a lot of levy freemen in the front. Spear warriors, too. Alright, I can go fight here if I wanted to. I think that would actually suffice. Let's just fire into their ranks now and begin to advance. I'll let them fire overhead. So first off, General, I cannot let you go fight. The rest of you can go fight. How many would fit here? What, f like four? Three? Four? I'm thinking four. Three would be a bit more sufficient. All right, let's line them up now. We'll do a column. Oh, first cohort, you need to be in that too. All right, so we'll do a column like this. Except, we do not want my archers in that column. We want them over here to fire at my foes. Alright. Get up here, buddies. Very good. Alright. Let's keep on looking. We're killing quite a few of their men. Which always makes me very happy. Let's keep hitting those noble horses, too. Because I feel like they're going to do a lot of damage to us. They have a lot of efficient soldiers. Man. A lot of high-tier guys here. I mean, yeah, they have their levy freemen and that crap, but still, a lot of tough guys. Very good, so far, a lot of kills. Let's hit them maybe over here a little bit, get rid of some Celts. Oh boy, and then they have all their slingers over here instead. Might move my Iberian cavalry from there to over here. 
instead. Yeah, they did a big loop. <laughs> Whoops. But I didn't see that they had a lot of them over here in the middle. Oh, here's their noble horses. For their general. That's a start. Okay. General, get out of that. The rest of you move up. I sit in a column. Let's do that again. Hold on. Taking my time here, getting ready for this type of fight. Alright, let's see. How much further do we, do we have to go? Not that much further, okay. We'll move them maybe right there. That will be out of the range of their towers, most likely. Yeah. Alright, good work. Ballistas. Man, my scorpions could have scored a lot of kills here, too. Uh, there's just so many men. I cannot believe that. Alright, fire back here at the Galatian Swords, then. Let's see. How many have we killed so far? 448, 57. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's tons of kills. Alright, they're quite not in range yet. Or well, they're not quite in range. Alright, Iberians, you can get out of there. I can't lose any men just yet. I have to let my archers do some damage, too. Are there towers? Oh, their towers are hitting us. Shoot. I had a feeling that would happen. Alright, let's move up. Actually, we'll make sure that only one tower can at least hit us. Instead of having two. That would be worse. Alright. So what I'll do then, let's see, legionaries, let's get you guys together. You'll be group number one to go fight. So we'll put you right up here, have you go right in there and begin to fight. My archers are beginning to fire now, I'm hoping they will really just do a lot of damage. Might use flaming missiles then instead. Whistling shot for now. Quick reload. Really I have no clue how effective they will be. I hope they will be very effective though. Clearly. Alright. Flaming shots instead. I feel like that will maybe get a few more kills. Okay. Here comes my men. You'll go fight over here. You'll go fight over here. Alright. Flaming arrows all over. We'll fire a little bit further back maybe. With their spear warriors or whatever. Alright. Yeah. Let's fire the Galatian swords way back here. If my Iberians come in and they charge in from the flank, that'll help out a lot too. Alright, I need to move up my whole force then. The rest of you need to move up as to keep my men high in morale. My ballistas cannot help out, unfortunately. Okay. It's going to be a bit of a slowdown for this fight just because there's so many in one zone, one area. Ooh, that's nasty. Okay. I've killed so many of their men with only my ballistas, but let's get in here now. I need to make sure they do not break. I might need to move in my first cohort. My fire arrows are going in here. Aha! See, it's giving them a morale penalty too, but also apparently to my men. That's unfortunate. I should not be hitting them. Let's see, let's fire a little bit further back then. My morale should at least be a little bit higher. Okay. Next, I need to pour in another cohort. If I say Legion, I'm sorry. That's an accident. I don't mean to. Yeah, it's really slowing down a lot just because there's so many here. Wow. That is the biggest cluster ever. <laughs> Alright, my general does not need to be up there. He does not need to be fighting in any of this mess. I'm going to go ahead and put him into attack and test judo just to keep him alive. He's a war cry though. I think some of them are already beginning to waver. I feel like my archers are actually doing alright. Let's go check out their kills real quick. No, they're not. They're really not. They've gotten so few kills. If anything, they're just doing a morale hit. But they're not killing anything. Wow, that's terrible. I really... I mean, they are giving a penalty to my foes, but... Oh, great. whoop de freaking do man. Alright. Let's go after it. their guys back here now. We'll go after their damn slingers. And hit them from behind. As you can see, we're beginning to break them down. Keep on moving. Don't, don't stop. I wonder if the morale penalty is so great that, that it makes it worth it to have my archers. I mean, they're some of the damn best archers and they should do a lot more damage, but... Nope. Alright, let's see if my Iberians can keep up. I really doubt it. I doubt they will be able to sustain this fight at all. Oh, Scorpions, how I wish you, you were here, too. Yeah, we're going to have to pull out with my Iberians. There's no way for them to get into that and win. Alright, so we'll pull them out. They'll lose a lot pulling out, but eh. Alright, we're beginning to push in now. I'm going to send in some fresh troops soon. I would pull back these guys if enough of my foes pulled back too, but... Let's see. Still slowing down so much. Oof. Really bad. Okay. 
Archers, I want you to fire now instead. Way back here, come on, come on. Hit them, hit them. We need to keep on hitting them back there. We're fighting Chibali. Which is funny because they're at war, but I guess they were, they were like, alright, peace treaty. We'll kill the Romans and then we'll kill each other. Great. Well, thanks. I'm glad you guys can work with diplomacy so well. Alright, General, let's move you back now. You're getting torn up, which is unfortunate. Okay, let's see. We'll fire instead maybe at their own slingers or whatever back here. Look at these guys. I guess we'll try to flaming shots again back here. Come on, hit their friends. Fire quickly. Yeah, in a scrap like this, my, my men certainly do very well. But I need, I need to send another group of another cohort out there to go help out that group. Alright, let's keep on pushing in. So for this group over here, who will go fight the noble horses. And over here, they'll keep fighting over here. <sighs> Damn archers, I wish you would get so many more kills. When I, when I remember how powerful archery, I mean, it wasn't that strong during this time period, but still, I, I like to think that it will do a lot better. Okay, so this group is now done. They have fought to their extent. I'm sending in some more men to go cover them. Hopefully they won't get eliminated from the fight after this battle. Alright, let's see, they have a lot of men over here, a lot of spear warriors. A lot of Thracian pelters back there, so what I'll do instead is have my Iberians go over here. Yeah, I, I know they're being fired at. Or instead, I, I could have them go hunt down the guys who are fleeing. Ooh, I like that thought. It's a cool thought. Alright. I wish it wasn't slowing down so much, but again, when you have... I mean, I could have a, a battle this large, but it's just that when you have them all in one area, the animations can get kind of choppy and messed up because of that. Okay, so now we're going in and killing some more. A lot more. Ooh, Iberians, you're about to have some fun, seriously. It's, that, that would be great. So Tarsus will not have a garrison after I'm through with all of that. We're going after all their fleeing men, and they do have a lot of fleeing men. Alright, as you can see, my legionaries are moving in. Okay. Let's move in another group over here. Move in another group over here. We'll hit them from everywhere. Here's some more veterans moving in, too. We'll move them over here as well. Let's, see, let's move the first cohort a little bit to the side. I know they're blobbing a bit, but eh. yeah, you guys lost a lot of your men. You need to stay back. Archers here still firing. I know that much. Are you getting kills? Uh, maybe. All right, getting my new legions in place. Fighting more spear warriors. We've cut down so many. A very choppy battle though. Okay, Iberians. Oh, I love how they're just hunting them down now. You can't go after the noble horses. That's why I wanted them dead. They would be deadly in the field battle having that many horses. Okay, let's go after these Galatian swords. So it's got, oh, actually we'll go after that group of eleven freemen. I need to try to hunt down more. Okay, let's go over here now with my legionaries. I don't even know if we're getting kills back here. Are, are those Celts moving out to fight my horse? No, no, they're just trying to guard that pass. Let's well, need, I guess. Okay, men, keep on pushing. Keep on pushing! I wish I could micromanage a little bit better, but really, not going to happen. Not right now. Alright, they're beginning to fire at us. Let's go after them. It's Galatian Swords. We're trying to surround them. Alright, it's starting to get a little bit better in terms of performance, so that's that's cool. Let's go after these Shattered Javelin men. Oh, no, they, they are steady. That's surprising. Let's see. We'll have you go after... You're going after this group, Galatian Swords. You're going after this group over here now. So not only will they flee to battlefield, they'll still suffer because of what they're having to fight. Alright, let's fire these Celtic Slingers and see if we can actually gain some kills there. We don't need flaming arrows for that, though. We'll do standard shots. Boom. Yeah, see that? Not deadly at all. Pretty wimpy, to be honest. Might as well get some more Slingers. I guess they, they needed to tweak that, because I, I don't think I've ever had a great threat from archers. I mean, maybe if you fight the Swaby, but they're all they're all dead now, so that won't be happening either. Alright, Legionaries, good work. General, I need you to move in now. Give the men a bit of a boost. As they are beginning to waver, yeah. Yeah, they're getting a few kills, but I mean, I have three groups of archers firing at them. They, they should. Let's go after those Celtic Slingers, come on. I'm going to bring back my cavalry now to go help out and hit them from behind, hopefully break them soon. We're having a big final grind back here. If we can win over here, that would let us move on from this point. Come on. 
Alright, we're still fighting the Slingers. We're finally getting kills because how it works is that units now have HP, and so you have to whittle that down or whatever in order to finally start getting kills. So it takes archers a lot of focus fire to really start getting kills. Fortunately, we did break them thanks to that focus fire. But I think I, I did read that if you fire at them with your arrows, it will begin to diminish their morale and such, and so that, that does help out. Alright, let's fight back here now. Alright, archers, let's have fire over here. At slingers, they're shaken. They're all beginning to break now. Don't cheer. Just, I swear to you, if, if they're just cheering and not fighting, I'm going to be so pissed. Alright, General, good fight over there. We've won over here, too. Alright, it's all over now. I mean, we just have to break the last few groups, but after that, all gone. The amount of... <laughs> that guy has an arrow in his back, in his shoulder. He's like, oh, whatever. Oh, now he's dead. It took two. One to the eye, I think. Auxiliaries! Yeah, we're gonna go after what's left over here then. Nice. Let's hit them from behind. They're not all broken yet. Oh my gosh. This route is ridiculous. That was a nasty battle. We grinded them into nothing. This, this whole camp is a bloodbath. If they came to fight me, I probably would have had a slightly better time though, to be honest. Even though they had a lot of noble horses. If I had neutralized that threat though, they would have been done for. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, they're in trouble. That's sad. Okay. Let's go take out their friends on the field now. They're out here. Did we not capture their town? Oh, yeah, we yeah. Okay, good. We, we captured everything. Their horses are all fleeing. We caught their men here. Killing what's left. is Thracian pelvis and all that. Yeah, so now we just need to go after their men who are fleeing. Oh, Iberians. Let's look at their kills real quick. Two, okay. Two, not as much, but my archers did get a few kills towards the end. I'll have to really wor uh, work on what they they can do. They did not do well. Okay, here's their other general. Let's fast forward for now. So I'm letting them all fight, but let's look at the carnage here. Wow. I knew that they weren't going to be able to beat us, though. First off, my men are mostly veterans and they're upgraded and... Yeah, they had a lot of levy freemen and my archers I think did debilitate their morale so much so that did help, I'm certain. Yeah, let's fire a little bit at them. Why not? Get a few kills. <laughs> right in the butt. Dead. There we go, let's get a few more shots off. There we go. Make sure they're not going home. Oh, they're not too bad killing fleeing foes. Should be ours now. Oh, right, right. Until the time runs out. Okay, well. We got we got our kills. Close victory. We killed almost 5,000 of their men. Yep. They both killed over 300 men. That's about it for them. Yeah, so we got a few kills there. <laughs> my legionaries all got a lot of kills, except for my general, of course. Alright. Let's keep looking. And we'll keep talking about Mr. Tiberius very soon. It'll take uh, uh, several parts for me to be able to finish the talk on him. I need to drink some of my water. Goodness. A lot of talking got me. Let's see. Yeah, if we didn't lose any units and we managed to destroy both of their armies. We didn't kill their leader, surprisingly. Oops. That was not bad, buddy. Let's see, the scorpions, I'm getting rid of them. I'm, I'm sorry, I wanted to try to like them, I wanted to try to use them, but that's not going to work out. It's really not. See you later. Oh, they're polybolos. That, that's why they couldn't move. Okay, well, whatever. Get in these archers. <laughs> Grab a few more. I don't know how many men they have left. Let's see. Mm, no, we're, we're going to have to rest up a little bit before we fight that. We cannot follow this order. Why can't you? Is it because of that little group? That. I don't know why you can't move. Me. I mean, you're not we at cannot. a point. I'm afraid we cannot. Okay. We cannot <laughs> follow this order. Sure. That's not that much command. of an issue. Alright, here's Legion number 7 over here. Alright, let's see. We can go after this group over here. If I wanted to. I kind of do. I have elephants and onagers. 
Hi, it's me again. Well, back to the battlefield. Alright, let's see. Let's begin deployment. Check out how the world is. Onagers, they will be ready. Okay, man. What formation will I put you in? Let's keep on looking at this real quick. Double line. Why not? Onagers are here over here. Sorry, Onagers. Onagers, I keep forgetting. Right, elephants here over here too. Onagers, let's put you behind my men. We'll just move forward together if we need to. That is a lot of men. Or a lot of onagers. Alright, spread them out a little bit. Elephants over here. Their own group. Good, good. Alright, let's begin now. They should be in my range, actually. Or if they head towards me, they will be. Alright, good. With these onagers, we will have a much easier time. If I had these for the last battle, oh my gosh, I would have been ridiculous. Alright, let's fire their horses. I, that's always what I want to neutralize when I first fight a battle like this. Whoa, Cavadation Cavalry or Doshin Neat. Very nice. That's a very nice start. Alright, so they shall hit their horses, hopefully, with great accuracy. Right? Like that. Smash right through them. Right, very good, very good. But I want to try to get, get some hits too. It's my turn. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. Oh, come on, hit something. There we go. Try it again. Oh, that's going to be a nice, tasty one. Come on. Very nice. Right through them. Well, that felt pretty good. Okay. Let's go after their noble horses still. I'm not too worried about their infantry. It's just the noble horses that I want dead. Like over here. We've killed a lot of them, too. A few more to kill before I feel confident to go after them. Alright. Let's see. Should we begin to go forward now. Bit like this. Alright, General, you can go over there. Awesome. Everyone runs. And elephants move out. The onagers, onagers. Oh, I will get used to it one day. I've said it incorrectly for so long. Alright, it's all fire over here at their forces in the middle. There we go. Come on. One last fire. Alright, good. That's all that I want from them. Okay, we're fighting their horses over here now. Noble horses, not too bad. We'll send the first cohort to go help out the leader. You two over here. You two over here. Let's go after these noble horses. The rest of you move forward. Elephants move over here and charge directly at them from behind. And destroy them all. Thank you. <laughs> that should be delightful. We'll turn on our trample autocast. Like that. Alright, let's finish off their horses who keep... Ooh, they're recharging. Smart bastards. Oh, I know. <laughs> no shock there. Alright, let's go after these damn horses then. Don't you... Leave my elephants alone. They've done nothing to you. Yes. Even then, leave them alone. It's certainly in our favor. See that? My line has very few gaps, and so now we just need to finish them off from behind. They're now beginning to shatter because I can't keep up with my elephants who are now behind them. Right, let's go over here and take out their noble horses. Yeah, these guys bloodied up my general rather easily. Alright, let's go after the rest of them. Right over here, too. Only a few more to kill. Okay, well, Tiberius Gracchus from Roman nobility. He was also one of 12 children, the grandson of Scipio Africanus. He was a quaestor in 137, a governor of Spain, and he would become bitter against the Senate. Numantia was one of the last cities to hold out against Rome, and Tiberius was in a costly siege with the Numantians, and they in turn captured a large Roman force. And so what he did, he made a treaty, and he gave his word as the primary diplomat. However, the Senate disregarded him and his word and rejected the treaty, and so Scipio Aemilius would besiege the city and starve the people to death. And so he would become bitter of the Senate. Alright, let's go ahead and go over here. And then, Tiberius would later become a tribune and would introduce a reform bill in 133 BC. He sought a land reform. Lex Agraria, agrarian law, was bypassed, and so, or it, it did bypass the Senate and enforced the Sexto Licinian Law, which limited public land up to 320 acres. And so, land in excess would be given to the poor for small rents and could never be taken away from them. So, his law would help out the poor. Now, keep in mind, these large estates were worked by slaves. You needed to be of a certain 
wealth and standing in order to be eligible for military service. So if these people had more land, they would have more money, there, there would be less poor, and more people could serve in the military. But, of course, the upper elite, they wanted to keep their land and their slaves and just make their great deals of wealth. Alright, so we destroyed that army. Let's kill them off. We did lose their leader. I'll have to make sure I do not let them fight anymore because they're incapable of doing anything. Help me. You haven't helped them anyway. Let's go over here. Very easy fight. Please leave my elephants alone. Please don't kill them. I'll be very sad. Oh, oh. Okay, good. That was close. Occupy. Mine now. Thank you for that city. I appreciate that. Alright, let's go look over here. Boom. Let's see. We'll convert this one too. Convert. Destroy. Now let's go look at all my legions. I'm going to make sure that I have all of them fighting. Alright. Look, if you're not going to come fight me, Ready for order. I'm going to make an ambush here. Now, can I hire any mercenaries here? I can't. So I'll get rid of the scorpions. I'm sick of those crappy things. Waste of good room. Especially when I'm outnumbered. Alright. Let's see. A lot of cavalry would certainly help. Rodian slingers would, would also help. Rodeo spears. Any of this would honestly help me out a lot. But I want to make sure that I have two. So I'll grab... Let's see. Tarantines. The veteran hoplites would help out so much. Hell yeah. Here, I'll, I'll grab two of those then. That will help out. Okay. Let's keep on looking. I've moved that Legion. Come He's doing up. fine. Legion 1's okay. over here in Navisos. Now, we're going to move him out too. Where will I move him out to? I guess we'll find out in a moment. We need to take out Tylus and everyone else. I'll move him out over here. Very good. Legion 2, where are you? You're over here in Odessos. They're converting and they're doing just fine. So we need to keep on fighting them. We have to go somewhere else. Quickly. Oh shit. No, head head down there. Thank you. Alright, so we want them to move to Asia Minor as well. No, you're gonna move over here, damn it. If you wanna move by sea, that would be silly and stupid. What about you? Oh, you're healing up. Okay, so you're healing up. No more auto resolving. I'm gonna find these out and just kinda go through these. Okay, stalwart defenders, keep okay, do do inexorable conquerors. Legion nine. Let's see. Plus five percent morale for all units. Why not? Authority go up. Okay, very good. Most of my legions have moved now. Legion four is down here. They need to heal up big time, but they can't. I don't want to go after Tauruses. I could probably easily do so, but it won't let, let me move. It's just weird. Need to watch out for that Tribali force over there. Let's see if I can actually get a peace treaty with a faction out here to save my legion there, because they might actually be destroyed. Tylus, I think I took their lands, so they'll probably be going after one of my lands, unfortunately. Oh, shut up. We are worthy of better. They don't want that. Okay, what about the Tribali? I'll take out the Galatians and then take out the Tribali later. Actually, they have a lot of allies. Rhodos, the Biafi. Oh, well, I'm already fighting most of them, except for the Gitai, who are up there. The Galatians are the ones that I really have to kind of watch out for. They were a lot stronger than I thought they would be. They really put up a good fight. Quickly and well. Sweet, so now we want, we want to worry about them being in my way. I still can't move, unfortunately. Okay, well, we've done pretty well now. I'm going to conquer so much land. Each turn, I'm going to try to make sure that I take two to three new locations. Let's see, we're over here. I need to move out from that location too, Legion 3. We'll move them up north to go fight the Biopi. And so will Mr. Caesar. He will go up there too and conquer them, and he'll go through Germania. We'll fight the Rayetti soon. After I can get a peace treaty over here, and then we'll quickly move over there. Or instead, I'll just start moving some legions there very soon. Just not not yet, of course. All right, there's a big army over here. I have elephants. We have a force over here, so let's go down here now and fight. No, oh, well we can. Let's see. I'll have to wait. Then I have two legions here. Can you guys move back? You can't move back yet. If I do a force march, he still can't move back. Shit. Okay. That's what we've done so far. Can I move you out? No, you, I can't. Alright, we'll have to wait now. At least for one turn. Boom. Okay. So, what would happen is that Campania would be exempt from this law too, but another tribune, Octavius, would veto the law. 
which was clearly an issue, and you'll learn about what this fellow would do that would kind of be in violation of the Roman Constitution and how they would... Oh, okay, you want to fight me? If you do, I'll send Caesar there, and trust me, he did a very savage thing to your people. That whole area slaughtered by Caesar, to, to be honest. The amount of people that he put to death in Gaul was just atrocious. Really, I, I don't find him to be a hero whatsoever. He was a warmonger and honestly a villain, but of course, you know history written by the victor or the survivors and he survived and he won so he was able to write that tell out but man the people in Gaul nasty stuff there alright so they managed to retake this city just because I don't have any forces there to defend that location so I'll have to bring a legion back to go fight them and kill them and I will and so we're not having the epic war against the Tribali it's more of just kind of them trying to elude me and take what they can yeah see that I've taken two locations that I'll have to retake. Let's see, the Galatians, I took Iconium, I think. Oh yeah, they have one city left. I did want Iconium a lot, so I'm glad I, I have that. I'll go, I'll, go, I'll go take this and rescue my legion from down there. Hopefully soon. And Tylus, I know they're angry. They've lost all of their land, so they're not happy at all. Hurry up, you little agent. I'm wasting my time here. So in our next episode, we'll talk more about him. And oh, Hello. I'm defending. Looks like we have a battle to fight here real quick. Alright, well, we'll go fight this battle too. Here we go. Now, will they be able to take me out? I really doubt it. But I guess we'll find out very soon. Okay, let's see. They have mostly slingers, to be honest. They have their main army over here instead. Okay, I'm going to send in my cavalry down here to go take care of a few of them. Let's see. We'll send in some over here to take care of those slingers. I have my own slingers fighting. Okay. Other forces over here going to go fight. Send some elephants to go fight too. We'll go after their oath sworn soon. Hold on, I'm, I'm trying to quickly adapt to the situation. It's rather brutal to be honest. <laughs> All right, you guys can go fight. See, that is not balanced. It's where he would die within the first volley or whatever. <laughs> That's crazy. Okay. No, do not auto fire. I need to fire down there a little bit. Elephants, I'm going to move you in and hit them from behind. We'll do an auto trample. My Iberians are going over all their slingers, thankfully. Let's go over here and finish them off. I'll send in one group over here to take out some more slingers. Like that group there. Okay, finally, we have a two... Uh, it's, it's, it's a giant blob, yeah, but that will break soon, hopefully. Alright, my elephants are now moving in and hitting them from behind, so we'll be able to destroy them with that. Alright, let's move back my elephants now. Keep them alive right now. Alright, but listen, just make sure you, you fire back here, not too close to my damn men. Alright, let's go after all the all their slingers now. All their slingers. We'll win this easily. They, they don't have enough to really win this fight. There's no way. Alright. Yeah, see that? They didn't have enough to fight us in a, in a sustained fight. Too many slingers. Really, too many. Okay. Let's move back with my elephants then. I'll send in the weaker group over here. And then another group over here. Alright, they are managing to bloody up one of my groups pretty bad. My ballistas are not doing too hot. Alright, let's finish off their slingers now. I did not mean to blob that, but couldn't help it. Alright, my own slingers are firing. Who's still left over here? We'll fire this group of slingers down there with my own slingers. Okay, elephants, you're losing a few, unfortunately. Let's move you out of the battle so that you can charge back in. Because once their morale's kind of shot, they don't do very well. They do not do very well at all. Okay, we need to get my cavalry down over here. Let's go after this, these last few groups now. They're shattered all over, but now I need to pursue them. That ambush would not have worked out in any way. Even if I had fought that with their force, I really don't think it would have worked out. Of course, I would have set up my men in a different way, because you wouldn't want to fight me all spread out, to be honest. You would want your slingers protected well, and they were the ones who were really their only advantage that they had for that whole fight. But now they've lost it. Okay. Yeah, we did manage to win that. That was very cool. Let's chase down after a few of them, though. They have too many slingers that are still alive. I mean, we bloodied them up, too. Well, we lost our leader so quickly. It's so aggravating. I hate how they die so fast. Gosh. I don't know what happened. Because, I mean, you know in the beginning of my campaign, they, they lived for a long time. They fought like crazy. And now it's just, boom, dead, dead, dead. All dead. Come on. How many did my elephants kill? Whoa! Almost 400 hitting them from behind. 
I mean, they're getting kills now, but still, I really think they did... Oh my gosh, they devastated them then. Yeah, we lost a few over here, but hitting them from behind destroyed them completely. Man, flanking with elephants, or hitting them from behind, just absolutely devastates your foe. That, that's really good to know. <laughs> Hold on, we need to kill a few more. We're not done yet. Hey, they wanted to ambush me. That came in my favor, because now we lured them out. We won't have to worry about them. This force was meant to go rest up anyway, so... Now, at least, they have fought another battle. Who are you even firing at? Oh, th these guys over here. Okay. Yeah, fire at, at them. If you can. Yeah, we've destroyed them, man. Oh, God. Hey, just real quick. I know a lot of people won't he um, hear this because it's not at the, at the beginning of this episode here. But really, thank you so much for enjoying and liking my series here. It's honestly an honor to freaking just know that you guys are enjoying this and it's just a lot of fun for me and, and I'm glad that a lot of you have gotten something out of this and it's just I, I, I don't know I give it thought from time to time and look the great escape and surprise is my achievements that I've won but yeah I, I just give it thought from time just about how it's like it's so cool I never thought this would happen in my life but really you guys have just been a pleasure to speak to and just some of you I've gotten to know and I will be meeting more of you and I, I just hope this goes further and I hope that I can give back more to all of you because really nothing here would have been possible without you guys. Besides the victory over here. Boom, okay. Noble death indeed. Kind of a random thing to bring up but I mean I, I just give that, that stuff thought. Oh hello. Look at Rodos. All close by and whatnot. I could kill a lot probably if I had fought this out, but eh. I'll let them have it. Okay. Let's see. Didn't mean to do that, sorry. <laughs> I was like, hurry up, hurry up, but that was not helping it hurry up. Okay, let's see. We have a new bodyguard over here. Nice Pompeius Magnus. Guy Julius Caesar. Now, Mr. C uh, Mr. Caesar is going to, le to Legion 10 now. That's what's going to happen. I'm going to have him put over there. Very good. Sediment lost. I know, I know. It's okay. Yeah, but we'll put him in le Legion 10 to begin to go fight the Biophy up north. And I need some water now, so I'm going to go and see all of you later. And as always, until then, 